Well, Katie James, she is a local pop country artist born and raised in State College right here in the 814. At only 19 years old, she's living in Nashville right now during the school year, playing about three to five shows downtown Nashville a week. She combines authentic lyrics with catchy melodies to create her pop country sound. After releasing her first single, Black Coffee, earlier this year, Katie's been working very hard preparing for the release of her newest single, Better as Strangers. And joining us today, Katie James, uh, singing her brand new single, That Hit, all streaming uh, platforms today, Better as Strangers. Welcome in, Katie. Hi, thank you for having me. Thank you for joining us. Uh, what an exciting day. Tell me all about your uh, new single and how this song came to be. Yeah, so I have like this notes app on my phone and I literally just jot down anything that comes to mind at any point in time. It could be something that someone said once and I had it in my app, like Better as Strangers. And I met this girl at this writer's round that I played, which if you're not from Nashville, you might not know what it is, but a writer's round is basically where they have singer-songwriters and you can only sing original music and you play for like an hour. Super great experience to meet people, it's so fun. But I met this girl there and her name was Winter Wilson, sweetest person ever, and we got together afterwards like, we should write a song together. Mm -hmm. And so I went over to her place and I was like, we're scrolling through our apps and seeing like, oh, what ideas do we have? Like, what do we want to go off of? And I was like reading down some of the things I had and I was like, oh yeah, better exchange. She was like, I like that. And yeah. I was like, Awesome. So we kind of just went with that and that's kind of where the song came from. And we tried to like base it like off of like a relationship that was like, oh yeah, no, they are better as strangers. So that was kind of the idea behind the song. And then we wrote it in like maybe two hours. Like, I mean, wow. we, yeah, we we're also playing with dogs during also might have been a little <laughs> distracted. But yeah, and that's where it came about. And I went and I sent it to my producer and I was like, hey, I kind of think this song might be cool to put out. He listened to it. He was like, oh, I could get down with this song. I was like, nice. So then we, I think it took like a week or something. And we hopped in the studio and started getting the ball rolling. Wow. Yeah. So a lot of collaboration. And um, um, you've been, so you play guitar and you also play piano? Yeah, I do. I play a bunch of instruments, but those are my two main ones. Wow. Yeah. When did all this start for you? Um, literally as early as I can remember. Like, honestly, I have always loved music. There are like pictures of me from when I was like three or something. I'd be like holding a mic in front of my family. They definitely like were d distracted by other stuff and I'm over there like, hi. <laughs> like, I've just always loved it. I was in like every single choir growing up, like band, literally anything music. Mm -hmm. I was there. You, you better bet I was there. <laughs> like, and yeah, I just did that growing up. And then I always knew that I wanted to like put out music and stuff. And so I think moving down to Nashville was probably the best plan for me. So that's what I did. And then I shifted more from classical to my pop country sound. Okay, so yeah. you're performing from a young age yes. in front of the family. I remember some of those days too. <laughs> right. Hey, look at me, right? <laughs> and, but it's, it's really uh, developed into something a beautiful career for you that yeah. you're really you're taking your dreams and you're running with it oh absolutely definitely I just I really try to take every opportunity that's thrown at me even if I'm like hey nothing huge may come of it but like it's great experience either way now uh, talk about your experience in State College and like your move to Nashville and where you go to school down there at. yeah so here in State College like I said I was in a lot of choirs but I wasn't really doing like solo performances and stuff and then I told my parents I was like hey I want to go to Nashville for college and they're like Wow, Nashville, Are that's you crazy. Far. No, literally. <laughs> and I was like, no, 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 you gotta like trust me. And so I go to this college called Lipscomb University. It's like a small Christian college. I absolutely love it. Like mm -hmm. I get so many insane connections there. There's fantastic people. It's such a supportive community. Like genuinely, so great. Like it's probably the best decision I've ever made. And so I go there, I study songwriting, and I'm literally in the heart of Nashville. So, wow. yeah. <laughs> and then what is the Nashville scene like when you're out performing? Um, it really depends on the venue because if it's like a small venue, maybe like cute and cozy vibes where you just have like a few listeners, like a little listening room. But sometimes we'll be playing in bars and I'm like totally background music. I can barely like hear the mic. I'm like, oh goodness. But it's either way, it's always so fun. You meet so many cool people. Hoping for the best. No, literally. Hoping I sound good. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I think, I think that was right. Like, <laughs> well, I think you're there in the heart of a music city. Oh yeah. Definitely. A lot of different other performers too. Um, what do you think really uh, makes you stand out? Um, I definitely think, I feel like my personality has a lot to do with it because I feel like when I'm singing, it still comes through. Like mm -hmm. obviously when you're talking to someone, you're like, oh, you get a good gauge of who they are. But I feel like through my performing and my songwriting, you still get a good gauge of who I am, which I think definitely makes me stand out. And also I think that my pop country sound is unique in like a sense that I pull from various artists that I truly love and it kind of creates a brand new sound. So. 
Very good. I wanted to know who some of your role models were. Oh my goodness. So I have always loved Taylor Swift like growing okay. up. I was like a in Swiftie? first. Of course, of course. But I love Taylor Swift. I love Ed Sheeran. I love Harry Styles. In like the pop realm, those yeah. are like my like stars, my okay. go-to. And then like the country realm, I love Thomas Rhett, Kelsey Ballerini, Gabby Barrett, Dan and Shay. And that's kind of where I'd put my music with like the pop country. So I'd say like Gabby Barrett and Dan and Shay are the best way to like describe my music wow. with like a little Taylor Swift. Little blend. Little blend. Did little you see her yet? I did. I just saw her at the Eras tour. It was so good. Wait, what city? In Pittsburgh, like three hours away. Okay. So good. Very good. Yes. Um, and then as you said you. I love this because sometimes I wrote. I write down things in my notes too that yeah. are like funny. You know, right, little things. Yeah. And so that's really cool how you kind of pick up some inspiration to oh, write yeah. songs that way. What What else do you pull from? Honestly, literally everything. Like, I'll be having a conversation with my friend, and they'll be like, oh, yeah. They'll say, my friend the other day, I was driving in the car with her, and she's like, it's just the silver lining. And I was like, that's a song. And so I, I wrote it in my notes app, and I was like, I'm writing that down. And sometimes I'll tell them that I'm writing it down yeah. for a song, and they're like, oh, I want the royalties. Right. And I'm like, oh, of course, obviously. <laughs> and so literally it's anything. It can be like a small conversation. It could be like watching TV, and I'm like, that was funny, or like, that's clever. Or what I also love doing is like taking a cliche and like mm -hmm. flipping it. And so like you start to hear it and you're like, oh yeah. And then you're like, oh, hold up. What was that? So honestly, like a little play on words. Mm -hmm. okay. Inspiration comes from literally everything, which is so cool. Cause I could be having such a Monday day. And then all of a sudden, like I'll see something and then I'll be like, oh, hey, that could be a lyric. Yeah. Even if it's not like the hook of the song, right. it could still give me an idea. But also, I also like to pull from like personal experience. Mm -hmm. I think that's really cool and will draw audiences in. I'll sometimes like my friends will be like, oh, I'm feeling this. I'm like, hey, you want me to write a song about it? <laughs> You never know where you could find exactly. inspiration. Exactly. Anywhere and everywhere. <laughs> yeah, when you least expect it. Exactly. And so, uh, Better as Strangers, mm -hmm. out today. Out today, All yep. streaming platforms. All streaming platforms. You can literally find it anywhere that you could ever listen to music. Um, anything people should know about this song or, uh, you know, kind of how to follow I mean, you on your journey? Oh, well, if you want to follow me on my journey, you can check me out on all streaming platforms and all social media at Katie James Music. Super easy to find. I'll probably be the first one to pop up. Yeah, I mean... Just really like yeah. anywhere. Everything is internet's crazy. <laughs> I know TikTok. I was looking at some of your YouTube uh, videos yeah. too. You perform a lot on there, so definitely I do, for easy sure. ways to check you out. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, this isn't your first single. You had another one as well yeah, back in January. I did. That one was my first one. It was definitely an interesting experience, but so positive. Like such a great step for me. It was so fun. I really didn't know what to expect. So I felt a little bit better going into this one because I was like, oh, this will happen and this will happen. I probably need to do this the day of. So like, I think it was a lot easier this time around, but also in the same sense, I knew like the new levels that mm -hmm. I could bring it to. So yes. Well, you're only 19, <laughs> but you got one under your belt. And now we are so excited to listen to you perform uh, Better as Strangers. That's coming <gasps> up in you. just a bit. So thanks so much for hanging out with <laughs> us this you. morning. And uh, we are so excited to see where your career takes you. And uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out. Well. Hey, stick around for this Phillipsburg Heritage Days. It's almost here. We're helping them celebrate this year's 